Good morning, everybody. Today, I will be discussing about the most interested, interesting technique uh, for rejuvenation, like uh, for rejuvenation of hairs, skin, anti-aging, uh, PRP. It is being most talked about these days in the industry, in the aesthetics industry, and the patients are, you know, very much curious to know that what is PRP and how it can help us. So PRP is uh, injecting the goodness which is being you know given by the God. It's in your blood. It's your own uh, vitamins, growth factors, amino acids, and the wellness and the goodness of God. It is the uh, injecting material is being extracted from your own blood. So we don't inject any chemicals which can cause side effects to you or there is no contraindication of uh, PRP. So now, uh, PRP, uh, like people get confused with like which uh, from where to do, what will be the results, yes or no, am I the uh, contender for PRP or not? And which center to choose and you know, from where to do so that I can get the best results. Look, PRP is just platelet rich plasma. It's like injecting your own plasma, but the thing is how you make that plasma from your blood. So now making the plasma from the blood involves uh, different steps and chain to uh, create that well formed plasma that can really give you results. So for that, you need to have the purity uh, of the plasma and the plasma should be having the maximum concentration of stem cells of uh, your IGF, that is growth factors and uh, your platelets, amino acids. So uh, there are uh, a different uh, kind of PRPs in the market. I usually use this is uh, plasma lifting. Now, why uh, not normal PRP and why specifically uh, plasma lifting? First of all, the uh, this the tubes we use in plasma lifting, they are like you know uh, they are like separated, packed, sterilized, and every tube has its own packing and there is no chance of contamination or cross infections. So, and every tube has a certified specific number which is being uh, allotted to every single patient. So there is no chance of mixing or you know, giving you the wrong results. The tube has a special anticoagulant on its walls that is heparin sodium. Heparin sodium is the safest anticoagulant used and it doesn't have any side effects. And it is being spread along the wall and not down so that there is a homogeneous mixing with the blood and it causes the proper separation of plasma and gives you the maximum amount of platelets and amino acids and the growth factors in this tube. Moreover, uh, there is no silicon being used in these tubes. So there is, if there is no silicon, the side effects related to uh, silicon are absent. So it becomes more safe. And it is being certified that the blood collected in these tubes and after separation, it can be re-injected in your body. Otherwise, the, in the normal BRPs, the tube used is a, a normal tube that is being used for collection of the blood sample in a normal laboratory of your state, right, of your place. So those tubes are used for collection. They are being, you know, certified for collecting blood and separating and performing some blood tests, but not for re-injecting. So it is a big plus for this, that the tubes, if you have the blood and you separate the plasma and the growth factors, you are allowed to inject this inside the body again. So it makes you more safer and, uh, and there is no side effects to your patient and it is more safe. Um, moreover, uh, the, uh, these tubes give you an addition of amino acids 
with your plasma. So the goodness of uh, plasma is retained in this tube better than the normal laboratory tubes. So opt for a certified plasma lifting or a certified PRP. Ask your doctor which PRP he is he will be you know performing on you. Get satisfied first and then plan for injections. Just uh, you know opting for uh, normal PRP may leave you disappointed and uh, it may decrease the reputation of the of the therapy and technology itself you might say that PRP doesn't work because the PRP done on you was not good so it is not like that uh, PRP works if it is done properly of course there are some indications and contraindications in which it should be performed in some cases it, it doesn't work so you have to choose accordingly like in this in, in this indication will PRP work or not and if it works yes you have to take chance I would advise you read thoroughly about uh, plasma lifting it's the there is a lot of certifications and, and material available online you can log on to ghderma.com and uh, read about uh, plasma lifting how is it done and it is available in different cities and states of india and europe it is not only in patiala it's everywhere so you can choose your certified doctor and uh, perform this procedure thank you